The following is a presentation of National Speed Sport News. Tonight on Speed Sport Magazine, Rico Abreu talks about his racing career. Danny Thompson prepares to set a land speed record. And we have Jessica Zemkin in the studio. It's time to go green for Speed Sport Magazine on MAV TV. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Speed Sport Magazine and our first summer edition of 2014. As we have noticed covering this great sport of ours, it takes a unique personality to be a successful race car driver. And our lead story tonight is true to form. Rico Abreu hasn't been in big time racing for all that long, but he is already making a big name for himself in sprint cars, midgets, and many outlaw carts. He already has 10 wins for 2014 and ranked number one in the speed sport power rankings for the first quarter. Our Aaron Evernham introduces us to Rico Abreu. Rico Abreu, welcome to Speed Sport News. Thank you, thank you for having me. Tell us about your background, where you were born and raised. Yeah, I was born in St. Helena, California. Uh, everyone in my family is born and raised in St. Helena, and uh, you know I went to school there, high school, elementary. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's a vineyard background, and uh, you know it's a it's a great place in Northern California to live. I had some good friends that raced outlaw carts, uh, you know, and then I I was around them a lot and I went to a bunch of races with them and then I actually got an outlaw car and, and then ended up racing one on a, on a graded track in my backyard of my house and uh, I raced as much as I could and then I felt like I was good enough to race and went out and ran a few races in uh, 2009 and, and then it was, it was just, I was on after that and I just wanted to race all the time. I think last year I ran 104 races and uh, this year I'm scheduled for 130 so I, I ran I ran 30, 35 races this year, so I got quite a few to go. And how do you arrange all the logistics if you're running an outlaw race one night and a USAC race, you know, a few nights later? How do you plan all that out? Well, I, I, I'm very fortunate to be around Kyle Larson's parents, Mike and Janet, and they uh, they build my schedule at the beginning of the year, and we go through it and try to map everything out. You know, what's really feasible to get to a racetrack, or if it's worth getting there or not. You're really close friends with Kyle Larson. How did that friendship begin? I, I came into the outlaw kart ranks when he was leaving, and I believe it was his first year in a sprint car when I was uh, coming into the outlaw kart ranks. And we actually have a go-kart track at my house, and he we put on a charity race, a veterans charity race one night at when the race sprint car races were at Calistoga, and he came to uh, to just see it, how it was, and the connection built through that charity go-kart race at my house, and we just built this great relationship and we got to spend a lot of time with each other around the, the, the past uh, five years I think we've known each other and it's just so special to see uh, an individual come through the sport like him because it doesn't happen too often and to be a part of his you know life and his family and you know I'm so close to his fam him and his family and you know Mike and Janet do so much for me as parents and uh, it's, it's just so cool to see that and you know say I could be a part of it just we were such great friends and race against him at the same time. We're both so busy now and especially that he's made it to the cup level is huge and the good thing about our relationship is we can not talk to each other for three months and see each other and pick right up where we left off and so it's, it's just a, such a great friendship to have and just a healthy friendship. Rico, you race with USAC, you run with the World of Outlaws, you consider yourself a true outlaw? I just, I think the outlaw cars are the funnest the funnest things to drive. Just the tracks they go to are, are really cool, and and I also have such a good friends around that are still racing outlaw carts, and uh, I like to get back and see them as well. And I think I, I, I just like to support that outlaw the outlaw cart. Uh, my family still runs a team every weekend, and carts is key to getting your career boosted. Do you think it's important for kids coming up to get pavement and dirt experience? Both. Yeah. You know, everyone's goals is NASCAR. You know, their dreams are Indy 500 or race Indy cars, and uh, I think if you if you get the opportunity to do both, you have got to take it. And just experience is huge these days. Just the level of experience and being able to diverse and go back from you know back and forth from pavement racing and uh, dirt racing. With your size and stature, were there any barriers that you faced when you started racing? Uh, like I don't know. Like the biggest the biggest barriers I would say with my you know, being a little person is not being able to ride the rides at Disneyland because you're <laughs> not tall enough. But other than that, I think that the go karts they got me really comfortable in them. You know, with moving the pedals up and my seat forward. Uh, you know, there's there's not a lot of 
things going on in the go-kart with your, you know, your movement or your reach. So, you know, you don't give them much wheel and, and you, you know, you're, it's, they're really demanding go-karts. So I, I think the closer I was to the steering wheel, uh, the better I was in the go-kart. And I just raced them all the time. So it's, I, I knew where I was comfortable and not comfortable with that. You know, with the sprint car, we, we took a, a, it looks like a big shoe box and put them in, be, in between the drive lines and just moved everything up six inches and the A-frame of the sprint car is forward six inches. So everything's standard, all the parts are the same, it's just raised up and pushed forward for my seat to be forward so I, you know, my, my arm length isn't as long as the average person and my, my thigh length isn't as long. So it's, it's good that I, I got close to the steering wheel and up to it and I honestly think I'm really safe in the race car just because I'm away from everything. Mm. And if you ever get a chance to look at my sprint car, there's a big, there's a big six-inch gap from the tail tank to the to the back of the seat. You know, you you see like the bigger drivers, Brent Cading and Jason Statler, and they're right nosed up to that tail tank. And so I'm pretty far away from it. And uh, if anyone wants a two-seater ride, I'm sure we could fit someone in there. Aaron Everham joins me now here in the studio. You've known Rico for a while. What kind of guy is he? Well, at the track, he's kind of fun and lighthearted. But when I sat down for this interview, it was nice to see how passionate he is and how serious he is about making racing his career. Lately, the guys have come off of open wheel dirt racing have gone on to NASCAR. Kyle Larson's a very good friend of Rico's, as quite a few of these other guys. So where's he headed? Well, he mentioned he was going to be spending a little bit more time here in North Carolina, which leads me to believe stock cars. And I noticed that Jeff Gordon was with him at Victory Lane this past weekend. So. All roads lead to Charlotte. <laughs> okay, well, his winning ways on dirt continue. Rico just picked up another win in a 410 sprint car this past weekend at Calistoga Speedway. Thanks for stopping by. We have another go fast lady in a race car joining us here in the studio in just a few minutes when Speed Sport Magazine returns. And you could say she started her career off pretty young. She made her first appearance at the racetrack when she was just two weeks old. Her first race at the age of eight. And she just chalked up her first Osh Weekend Speedway win up in Canada just a few weeks back. Jessica Zemkin is here in the Speed Sport Magazine house when we come back. Race fans, whether you love dirt, asphalt, two wheels, or four, you need to be Speed Sport equipped with cool t shirts, awesome caps, and great Speed Sport swag. You can get your limited edition merchandise now. Just go to nationalspeedsportnews.com, click on the store link, and start shopping. Throwback tees, shop racks, and everything you need to be ready for the races. That's nationalspeedsportnews.com. Click the store link. 